Good morning, you beautiful people. From the border of Virginia, USA. Just inside the state from Georgia, I believe. And it's a beautiful day out here. Just beautiful. Standing out here on the side of my truck, just enjoying it. Nice greenery, nice sunshine. Doesn't look like there's a cloud in the sky. Just heard a bunch of fighter jets go flying over me here. Perfect morning. Those fighter jets scare you, Sarge? They scare you, Jesus? No, I'm, a, I'm not scared, man. I'm not scared. All right, come to life for me, baby. Come to life. Wait for her to cycle through. I'm gonna clean my gauges again. It's impossible to keep this truck clean. Right, here we go. Yes. Wonderful. So, new day comes with new opportunities. We're excited. I love mornings. Once I'm up and about, I hate getting up. But I usually sleep late and then I work late. So I'll work till like two in the morning usually. I'm trying to get my schedule back on track because I had to get up so early yesterday. But usually I would work late and then sleep late. I don't. I just find it easier to wake up when the sun's up already than before the sun comes up. Uh, it just seems more natural to me. I don't know. I, I'm in a better mood that way I find. As you grow up, you sort of learn how your body works and how you react to certain situations and what makes you happy. I'm a night owl, I guess. I like to work into the night. I get the same amount of sleep as everyone else, and I work just as much. It's just, it's at later hours. I find that that works better for me. Welcome to the new viewers. I am Trucker Josh. We make a new video every single day. We get them up to you as early as we can in the morning. I try for 4 a.m., but every once in a while, it gets a little bit behind, but at least before noon is what I shoot for, but 4 a.m. is the release time when they're supposed to be up every day. And we travel all North America by road. This is my home. I have a house back home, but this is where I spend the majority of my time. I travel with my two dogs. That's Sergeant. Diesel is there. <laughs> and we make daily videos for you. So don't forget to go to Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube there. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single day. All right, see if we can get out of here. our way back onto the interstate. I believe it's Interstate 77 northbound. Another day begins. This is actually a very interesting rest area because there's all kinds of stuff. Playgrounds and stuff. It's very well put together. Look at what I found. Look at this. West Virginia. We're on Highway 19. Took a little shortcut through from Interstate 77 uh, towards Interstate 79. Look at this. West Virginia, you are beautiful. Wow. Just suck that in. Just suck it into your eyeballs. Let it soak in. It said scenic outlook ahead. And when I showed up here, there was truck parking, so I figured, huh? Why not? Usually they forget about us truckers when, uh, and like RVers when they make these like scenic little outposts and stuff. 
and they don't give us parking. There's a little sign over there. I want to go see what it says. Maybe it's like a historical marker or something. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to periscope this and Snapchat this and do everything I can to this because this is worthy of it all. State of West Virginia, Young's Monument. You can pause it and read that if you want. See the road goes around there. And way out there, you see it there yet? Let's zoom in a little bit here. Way out there, that's where the highway goes. Absolutely incredible. I was just reading that uh, sign back there that I just showed you, and this was actually the area where the Civil War was happening. Well, one of the areas. Can you imagine fighting a war here in these hills? Like, how many hiding places does the enemy have to hide to shoot you from? Then again, you could look at it the other way. How many places do you have to hide? Well, I guess the dogs want to enjoy the scenery too. I can't be selfish and hog it all to myself. Yeah, one at a time, one at a time. Sergeant, you first. Diesel, you stay there. Stay there. All right, Sarge, look at that scenery. Don't fall down that hill, okay? And just stay in this little grass area here, would you? Please? Okay. Good boy, yeah. Don't fall down that hill. It's a long way down. It's a long way down there, buddy. <laughs> uh, he'd be able to get up. You got four-wheel drive, right? You can get back up. Very nice. Look at that. Look at it. Sergeant, you don't want to look at it? Look at it. Look at it. Children appreciate the beauty. Or just chase critters. Okay. I'm chasing butterflies, man. That's way more fun. <laughs> See, he doesn't go very far away from me. Is that a butterfly? Uh, diesel. What about me, man? You forgot about me. You left me in the truck, man. I want to go outside, too. Top 10 countries where my videos are viewed. United States, number one. Going down the list, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, Sweden, Netherlands, Germany, Norway, Denmark, New Zealand. Well, that was a nice little scenic break, but like all good things, they come to an end. Off we go. when they leave parking for me at these places. Pennsylvania welcomes you. State of independence. Well, that's funny, because I'm pretty sure you're part of the union and not independent. However, I salute you anyways. Pennsylvania, I love Pennsylvania. I would prefer to drive through Pennsylvania in a car, four-wheeler. Just because the roads are so narrow here, as soon as you get off the interstate or the turnpikes, if you get lost in a semi, you can get yourself in a real hairy situation really quickly. Speaking from experience here, the back roads of Pennsylvania are extremely narrow. They are made for horse and buggy, not for 75 foot rigs. Pennsylvania is a state I would love to explore one day when I get a little bit more independence myself, since we're speaking of independence. And when I can sort of travel on my own outside of a commercial vehicle, you know, when I can get my RV and whatnot and have a little bit of extra or something to go and travel, Pennsylvania is on the list of places to come and explore. Absolutely. Along with every other state and country there is out there. Yeah, I, I got a long list. at the border about to head back into Canada bit of a line up here already so they got what five lanes here but they only got two of them open tonight I guess it's not that busy for them 
Just on the other side of that line is Canada. Are you ready to go back to Canada, Diesel? I'm ready, man. I am mean, I was born ready, man. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Got my game face on and everything. Well, I found a spot to park here near Bowmanville, Ontario. I'm not trying to complain, but it is always so hard to find parking in Southern Ontario near the Greater Toronto Area. The drivers around here can vouch for me on this one, I think. Crazy, you're not allowed to park on the ramps. There's no truck stops, really. And the ones that are here are full at like 6 p.m. <laughs> oh well, I found a spot to park. It's like a dark corner. It's Ontario, so I don't feel that threatened. Then I have the dogs with me, so they'll keep me safer. Rather, I'll keep them safe. Right? Right. They're both too tired and they've both been sleeping for a while. It's late and I need to get to bed, but we made it here safely. Just wanted to let you know we will be back at 4 a.m. Central Time. We're going to be delivering in Port Perry, Ontario, just down the road from here, about a half hour from here. And then we're headed all the way around the top of Maine to the east side because we've got to stay in Canada, right? We can't cut through Maine. We're going to go to New Brunswick, Woodstock, New Brunswick. We've got to go all over Maine through Quebec into New Brunswick and it's going to take a full day to get there tomorrow. It'll be like 12 hours. So I hope you join us. 4 a.m. Central Time. It should be an exciting day. We're going to French land so everything's going to be in French tomorrow for a good part of the day. Better practice and I'll see you then.